Hello. Time to do a May raised bed update. In a week's time it's June, so we're just sneaking this one in. Uh, Molly, come here. As you can see, Molly's perked up. She wasn't feeling too good a few days ago, but she's perked up now. She's back in the garden. This is a short row of Brussels sprouts. Um, this is a short row of kale. This is a short row of broccoli. And this is a short row of cauliflowers. And I got all these given, a friend of mine gave me these. Um, so I'm very lucky. And everything seems to be going okay so far. But let's have a look at the onion bed. And I'll show you a disaster. Come on. Okay, so this is my middle uh, raised bed. It's my onion bed. At the far end of the bed we've got some... Um, white-skinned onions. And at this end of the bed we've got some red-skinned onions. Uh, I've never been able to grow red skins successfully. And I don't think this year is going to be any different. Everywhere where you can see one of those white markers is where I've already removed an onion that's gone to seed. I'll just show you these, if I can get these in front of the camera. These are red skins that have gone to seed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven onions, all gone to seed, all taken out in the last couple of days. Okay, now when I look around this bed, there are more onions going to seed. And I'm going to take those out as well. Um, and I've been to the local garden centre and I've bought some replacements, some white skins. Uh, and where the white markers are are where I've put some replacements in. But I'm going to have to take some more red skins out now because they have gone to seed, so it's pointless leaving them in. These are the replacements. For every red skin I take out, I'm going to put one of these in. Let's have a look at these guys here. That guy has gone to seed. Look at that. There's the seed head. No point in leaving that in. Here's another. So these onions must have been stressed one way or another, but I don't know how because there's nothing wrong with the onions at the other end of the bed. Red skin disaster. Look at that. Look at that. I've showed you seven. I took another four out now. Unbelievable. Let's have a closer look, see if there's any more. Yeah, there's another. There's another. And another. All those guys have gone to seed plus the seven I showed you. Blah. Look, I nearly swore there. Yeah, it's a red skin disaster. I put 40 red onions in, and I think what you're looking at there is 16 red onions that have gone to seed. That's nearly half the red onions that I planted have gone to seed already. Blimey. Nearly half the red onions that I planted this year have gone to seed, and I have no confidence in the ones that are left. Let's hope the ones that I'm going to put in as replacements <laughs> kick on. That might be, uh, that might cheer me up a wee bit. Anyway, we'll pop down to this bottom bed. See if there's better news down there. In the bottom of the picture here, you can see the Perspex covers. Um, I've got two rows of beetroot under there. Um, haven't been in that long, so there's nothing to see. These are my uh, runner beans. Um, they're nearly ready for going in now. I've just started to put the frame up. Over there we've got some leeks. Uh, there's some leeks that started from seed, and they'll be going in when the early potatoes come out. 
they'll be going into uh, pots to grow on until uh, autumn and winter. This is a row of um, this is a row of peas, and this is a row of mange too, and this. This is some celery. I find that it uh, it comes on better outdoors than it does indoors. So once you've got it to this stage, just put it outdoors and let it kick on. I'll be growing that on in pots as well later on in the year. Can you remember the mycorrhizal fungi trial I was running? And I tried to grow some vegetables, started them off in half pint plastic containers in cans just to see if to produce a, a, bit, a significantly bigger root system. I packed that one in, I didn't seem to be going anywhere. But those are the carrots. Uh, I planted those carrots. I've got a short row of carrots there, so we'll see how they go. These are my uh, broad beans, Bunyard Exhibition. And as you can see, the flower in. Some of the flowers on the bottom have dropped off now, so pods will be setting, hopefully. Um, and then we'll start thinking about nipping the tops out just to deter the black fly. Okay, so I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Um, if you know how to grow red skin onions, please drop me a line, leave me a comment, because this is the third year I think that I've had a red onion disaster, and I've had enough of them. I don't think I'll be growing them again, but who knows? Now. What is the, what's the expression? Never say never. Never say never. Um, but I'm certainly uh, not a fan of red onions. Okay, this is homegrown veg, signing out. <laughs>